Merry Christmas everyone, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're looking forward to your last week at school. For some of you, the last day of school. Um, and you're preparing for Christmas. I love Christmas, I love everything about it. It's been great to be back in school and seeing you guys again. I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope we've made you think. Um, coming up to probably my favourite time of year, um, Christmas. I love everything about it, I love all the presents, I love the, the celebrations. I'll, Obviously, I love the food. I love this time of year, you know, and I hope you do too. And I hope this Christmas is really good for you. What we've done is we've joined a couple of wee clips of stuff that we've done over the past couple of years. Some of it was in lockdown. Uh, we do a wee bit of karaoke. You can get involved in that. I'm going to do some of the craft, some of the um, Wind Up Wednesday stuff we've done, and then I'm just going to finish with just praying and, and asking God to, to bless us uh, and that you would have a great time this year. So have a wee check out of this. Here we go. The snowman brings the snow Well he just might like to know He brought a great big smile on somebody's face If you jump into your bed Quickly cover up your head Don't you lock the door You know the sweet Santa Claus is on his way Crafting, love it. Yeah. My favourite thing. <laughs> favourite thing. My favourite thing. Are you as competitive as Chris? No. This should be easy. Though. No. I'm gonna be. Again. So today's challenge is we have lots of pipe cleaners and we have 90 seconds to try and create um, to make a Christmas tree. The one that looks like the most decorative, the most like a Christmas tree, gets to win. Like the one on Home Alone. The that one, one Home Alone, alone too. Yeah. The big, huge one. We're going to make one of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're just as much as you can possibly get on. Just. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. The pressure is on. Second, is it actually a long time? You said home alone. Oh, Well, it stands on its own. <laughs> I don't I know whether they can see it, so maybe, oh, okay. maybe hold it up. He does stand on his own, which is very impressive. I think it's more like a cactus than a Christmas tree. Oh, yeah, I know, a Texas, <laughs> Texas Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> Texas Christmas tree. A Texas Christmas tree. Okay, well, mine's an English Christmas tree. Um, <laughs> I've tried getting like a star and the shape, and then I've got tinsel, and then like the little... What's that called? The trunk? The stump? The thing? <laughs> the base? Yeah, yeah the base. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this is mine. There we go. Um, this is Ian's. Ian's gone Texas, I've gone English. Yeah. Um, you decide who yeah, wins. Yeah, let us know. Let us know. It doesn't really matter who wins. <laughs> but yeah. It's Christmas. Big <laughs> Christmas chair. Emmanuel, what does that mean? Isaiah 7. Verse 14 says this, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and he will be called Emmanuel. You know, when we start to think about Jesus and who he is, who he was and being pre-incarnate, so was he there before he was born? We've got a whole load of prophecies that, that link to who Jesus was and one of them 
was this him being called Emmanuel. Now Emmanuel literally means God with us. You see, Old Testament was a bit like God was standing, watching, but not involved. Then God becomes a man in the form of Jesus, Emmanuel. And now God is with us. And now we have this amazing opportunity to experience God. Not just to see things that God's done or things that God's doing, but to experience God, God with us. And Emmanuel literally means that God's imminent, God's there just waiting to get involved in your life. But this amazing opportunity that God is with us. He's here, he's in the room. He's no longer standing looking in from outside, he's with us. So when I think of one of the prophetic names of Jesus being Emmanuel, it kind of encourages me, knowing that God hasn't left us as orphans. You know the story of the prodigal son, where the father comes out to meet the son who's coming back, the lost son who'd went away, who'd went off and done his own thing. God's waiting there. God's took the initiative. And that's what I think of when I think of Emmanuel, especially at Christmas time. That God took the initiative, became a man, and entered into our world, not just to observe, but to be a part, to be a part of our world, to be a part of our lives, to be a part of your life. So that's it, the last um, assembly of 2022. Won't be long till it's 2023 and a whole new year and a whole new set of opportunities for you guys. It's a chance to restart, a chance to say, right, this year, 23 is going to be my year. And that's what our prayers are for you. That's what our hopes are. That's what we would love to see happen, that this year becomes something special for you. That this year, 2023, okay, is the best year ever. And it would be good if 24 was better than that, and 25, and so on, and so on. We hope we've made you think, we've given you a wee bit of hope, and we've just had a bit of fun along the way. Um, God bless you guys. Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. Ho, ho, ho!